meal and today we are getting rid of this. I know, it's so sad. So I have had this green hair for like a good three and a half months now. It's been a while, almost four months. And a lot of you guys have said it's your favorite color that I've ever done, which is awesome except for the fact that we're about to get rid of it right now. Um, but it has grown out quite a bit. You can see I've got some crazy rootage going on and a lot of fading. You can see that it's kind of like less of a bright green and more of like a, like if mustard was green. That's how I can describe it. And I do have my hair dye shirt. I finally found it, guys. I lost it somewhere in Connecticut, and then my sister found it, and then it got lost here again, and then I found it again. So I'm finally wearing the OG hair bleaching dyeing shirt. So, finally back in the family. <laughs> but I figured today I would do like a talking video to hang out with you guys a little bit, get a little chatty, and just to see how well this green can fade out, because every hair dye is different, even if it's the same company. Different colors are made with different ingredients, so some fade better, some stain more, some bleed more, all of that. So this is just going to be a green hair dye fading experience. Um, if you guys want to see how I did the green and how it looked when it was fresh, I have the three part series linked down below on how I faded the red, how I bleached my hair, and then how I dyed it green again. So now we're going to get rid of it, and I'm using the same Slurm color reverse as I did when I got the red out, but we're going to see how well it takes the green out. And in my experience, blue is the hardest color, and green is very close to blue, so it might be a little bit more difficult to fade out, but we'll have to see because I've never had green hair before. This is a two-part product where you mix part one, which is just called one, and then two, which is just called two. Wow. Amazing. Um, and I'll link to these down below. I got it at a beauty shop that's like right around the corner from where I live. But you can also find it on Amazon. And it's actually cheaper on Amazon. So definitely buy it online if you can. So this is my hair. Somehow it looks really long again even though I just cut it. But this is what I'm talking about. There's a little bit of banding which I'm going to fix when I bleach it. But the underneath shades, like right here, it's a little bit warmer and it's a little bit cooler here for green. So I'm going to have to fix that once I finish fading out the color. But I just want to get this green out of my hair real quick because the color I'm doing after this is a really fun one. Can't forget the gloves because we are working with some chemicals here. So you definitely want to be prepared. I just reuse gloves until they break. <laughs> just pulled this old friend out of the cabinet. It's my Keep Austin Weird shot glass that I use for measuring ratios. So I'm going to fill this up with step one. So I filled it up to here, and you're gonna just remember how much you filled it up to. I'm dumping that into my mixing bowl. Now I'm taking step two, and I'm gonna fill it up to the same height. Step two is more of a milky white color, as you guys can see thrown into the mixing bowl. All right, let's mix this baby all together and see what we get. When I say this stuff smells bad, I'm not surprised because I have done this um, with this and a different product that does the same thing before. So I knew what I was getting myself into. I'm just warning you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to use my fingers and apply this all over my head. You can section off your hair if you want to, but I honestly don't think that it matters for this product because it's just kind of like conditioner, how you can get your whole head saturated if you don't section it. You just kind of put it in and spread it, and it's like that kind of consistency that'll just spread um, a little bit more liquidy, so it's easier than that. So honestly, sectioning would be a waste of time because it's not really going to do anything. You just want to make sure that your whole head is saturated. And I did do a deep conditioning treatment yesterday because whenever I'm doing my hair, changing the color or whatever, I want it to be as hydrated as possible because doing any type of process will dry out your hair. And I used the Joyco deep conditioner, the one that comes in the blue bottle that's like a tub and it has a pump on it. You guys want to comment down below guessing what the new hair color will be? I'd love to see what you guys think. I'll give you a hint. Actually, no, I'm not going to give you a hint. What? So you guys can guess on your own. <laughs> Let's get this baby nice and saturated. If I were to describe the smell of this product, I would say 
if somebody cooked rotten eggs on the hood of a car on a really hot day and then it rained. I'm just being honest. I want you guys prepared for what's going to happen to you. I've actually used another two-step thing just like this that fades out hair dye that smelled like the same smell but it was more intense. So like I don't know what the ingredients are but whatever they are they just have to smell like that. But at least this one is the lesser of two evils. Why does that remind me of the election? Wow, my hair is perfectly parted right here. Amazing. All that's left, I'm just going to pour the rest onto my head. Oh, that's getting a little bit messy. Good thing I found my yellow hair dyeing shirt. I want to zoom the camera in, but I don't want to touch it with these gross gloves. This is what the back looks like. Okay, so I actually decided not to put my hair in a ponytail as I usually do because somebody commented once saying that you shouldn't do that when your hair is processing because it weakens the bond and then adding the ponytail will kind of like pull on the hair more while the hair is weak, which makes a lot of sense and I never should have done that in the first place, so thank you commenter. So instead, I'm just going to very lightly twist my hair and then put a plastic bag on top. Ah! Get in! Nice. So once that you're all swagged out, you're gonna take off the gloves and set your timer on your phone. Oh no, my phone's in 99% time for a little battery mode. So I'm setting my phone for 20 minutes and once that goes off, I'm going to rinse this garbage out of my hair. And during those 20 minutes, I'll be rewatching Gossip Girl. It's just that, you know, I watched it a long time ago, and now that I live in New York City, like, I want to see my city in a TV show, so don't judge me. Also, if you guys like today's makeup look, which is very cute and freckly, um, I just did a Get Ready With Me video, so I'll link that in the description box as well, so you can check it out and see how to get freckly. I think it would be kind of cool to get these tattooed on. But then again, I would probably not want them in a year from now, so <laughs> let's not do that, Camille. All right, so I just washed it out, and as you can see, everything is a lot lighter. Um, at the roots, it's kind of lost all of the green, and it's more of like a, a yellowy kind of color. And then same thing, like lower down. But the part that was really white underneath definitely has some green staining. And since it is night, I'm going to wait until tomorrow and then I'm going to do another round on it to get out the remaining green or however much of it that we can get out. But I guess because this was the least bleached, it had a lower porosity so it didn't hold the dye in as much as the other areas did. Which is why all the green is gone and it's just kind of like a yellowy, like bleached root kind of look. I'm gonna focus this on the bottom sections of my hair since that's the greener part. So far this has been like the most effective way that I've found to get rid of hair dye, um, especially harder colors to get out of your hair. And I've tried every single method that I've ever heard of, um, except for using clear hair dye with peroxide. I used one that didn't have peroxide, which didn't work because that's the key ingredient which I later found out, but peroxide is damaging, so I didn't really want to do that. Eventually I might try it, but I really want to find the least damaging, most effective method. So if you guys have any tips, comment down below. So I'm gonna do the same thing as yesterday and just gather it on top of my head without pulling anything taut and not using any scrunchies. Ooh, look at that, guns right there. Yes, girl, just got back from the gym getting swole. <laughs> using the same bag because Reduce, reuse, recycle, girl. Now you're covered like all state. We're gonna set another 20 minute timer. And after 20 minutes, I'm gonna rinse this out and hopefully most of the green will be gone. All right, so I have rinsed out that second round and this is what the hair ends up looking like. Now you can really see the banding that I was talking about. You got this golden color, the light green, and then that same like golden color. But the green is pretty faded, uh, especially compared to the color that I had initially. This is a really good amount of green to have disappeared. I'm not gonna do a third round of this because I really don't wanna damage my hair that much. And this product does damage your hair, especially when it's in your hair. You can really feel that it's like very 
sensitive and delicate. So I just do, I just want to avoid that. So I'm going to move on to the bleaching process and fix this crazy banding. And then afterwards, we'll see if I need to do like a quick bleach bath maybe or maybe with one more round of fading. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll get back to that. So this is how my hair looks after I bleached my roots. I did do a little bit of bleach on the banding to get rid of it and even it out a little bit more and a very quick, very weak bleach bath. So my hair is now light enough for the next step and I will be showing you guys tomorrow how I bleached my hair and then the following day I will show you guys the new hair color. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to follow me on my social media link down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.